Hi children. Today we are going to learn a story the bundle of sticks. I think you are ready with your worksheets. It is in worksheet number 141 and the video number is 93. And what's the story? The bundle of sticks. Now let's get started how the story goes on. We are going to learn about this story. The old man, servant who is carrying the bundle of sticks and the three sons which he had. So now let's go ahead and see the story how it goes on from our worksheet. It is in page number 141. Let's read the story and understand through these pictures. The bundle of sticks. An old man on his deathbed called his sons around him to speak to them. An old man on his deathbed called his sons around to speak to them. So what does that mean? You can see a man is lying here and he called his three sons. They were a bit mischief. They were not working hard. They were not doing the everyday works. So the old man wanted to teach them a lesson. So he called his sons and he also called servant to bring in a bundle of sticks. You can see here he is holding a bundle of sticks. Then what happened? Let's see. He told his servants to bring in a bundle of sticks and said to his eldest son. Here is the eldest son. Break it son. What did he say? Break it son. He tried hard with all his strength but was unable to break the bundle. So he tried hard and hard and hard but he couldn't break it. The first son tried, then the second son tried and the third one tried. No one could break it up because it is hard, it is strong. So children, the other sons also tried but none of them were able to break the bundle of sticks. So what did we understand till here? There was a man, he was about to die and his sons were very naughty, not hard working at all. They used to waste a lot of time. They simply wasted a lot of time. So this man want to teach his sons a lesson how to be united because they were fighting all the time between them. Among them they were fighting, fighting, fighting. So he called his servant to bring in a bundle of sticks and then he gave it to his sons. First the eldest son he said to break it. Then he asked his second son to break it. He was not. Third son he asked but he was not able to do. Then let's see what happened. Untie the bundle and each of you take a stick said the father. Who said to untie? The father said to untie the bundle and take one stick each. So each one took one one stick. One one stick. So what happened there? They could easily break it because it was only one. When they had done so, he said to them, Now break the sticks. And each stick was easily broken. The father said, Do you understand now? When you are united, you are strong. And when you are divided, you become weak. So always be united, my dear sons. So my little ones, so they were trying to break up the sticks, bundle of sticks, they couldn't do it. But when it came to one one stick, they could easily break it. It's for example, if you have one pen or pencil, it's easy to break, isn't it? But if you hold on four or five pencils or more than one, it's a bit hard to break, isn't it? That means united. Another example I would like to say when you are playing with your friends, suddenly you want to lift up something. Suppose 
or else let us take an example of a bench in the class if your teacher says my dear anna my dear mary my dear john please lift up the bench so if only anna goes if only maria goes if only john goes can they lift it up no it is harder for them but instead if three of them go together and lift up the bench they will be easily able to do it that means three together they were strong the strength put in together they became stronger but as one it was hard the strength of one person was not enough okay children that's the story united we stand and divided we fall what is the moral of the story when the three brothers are united like this they are united not fighting with each other not quarreling no beating they are together they loving each other together then they are strong so the moral is unity is strength so are you going to be strong by being united if you have a brother or sister if you have cousins you must be loving to them not only cousins not only friends even mother father grandma grandpa aunt uncle let it be any one in your house being united doesn't mean your age mates your classmates suppose for example mama says what does mama say help you in small small works right so when mama is trying to sweep the floor you must say mama let me help you so the work becomes lighter for mama mama can do other work when she is doing you may not do it so neatly because you are small little kids but just give a helping hand when papa is going to office just give a helping hand maybe his kerchief maybe his socks maybe his laptop to him maybe his bag maybe his tiffin bag you give it to him you be a helping hand to him or her that is unity is strength that means you and mama united you and papa united then you become stronger my little ones let's see by reading the story when i read the story please put your pointing fingers and read the story along with me okay children please put your pointing fingers and read the story along with me the bundle of sticks an old man on his death bed called his sons around him to speak to them he told his servants to bring in a bundle of sticks and said to his eldest son break it son he tried hard with all his strength but was unable to break the bundle because it was strong the other sons also tried but none of them were able to break the bundle of sticks this is the story children so i'll read from the worksheet for you an old man on his death bed please put your pointing finger as we read an old man on his death bed calls his sons around him to speak to them he told his servant to bring in a bundle of sticks and said to his eldest son break it son he tried hard with all his strength but was unable to break the bundle the other sons also tried but none of them were able to break the bundle of sticks so children let's see what is in the remaining part of the story so here the next sentence untie the bundle untie the bundle and each of you take a stick said father 
my little ones please put your pointing finger as you read okay now untie the bundle and each of you take a stick said father when they had done so he said to them now break the sticks and each stick was easily broken the father said do you understand now when you are united you are strong and when you are divided you become weak so always be united my dear sons now children the moral of the story united we stand divided we fall okay now my little ones i just want you all to see the underline words what we have first one please put your pointing finger the first word in the first line we have death bed d e a t h b e d death bed what is death bed means a person is about to die is grown old is about to die he doesn't have any energy to get up and do his works and you might have seen sometimes your grandparents your aunties uncles when they are seriously ill they are very ill they cannot get up from the bed they are in the bed because they are weak they are about to die that is called as death bed so repeat this word after me d e a t h b e d death bed come on again d e a t h b e d death bed let's go to the next one servants servants means the people who help us in our daily work maybe washing vessels maybe washing clothes or who come to mop and clean the house who do the gardening work different servants are there some may have servants some may not have it so let's see the spelling of servants s e r v a n t s servants let's repeat s e r v a n t s servants please don't say servants some children pronounce it as servants servants is wrong servants is correct r is a kind of silent over there it's servants not servants okay children next go to bundle and this also it is not uh, uh, b u n d l e bundle b u n bun we eat buns right so you need to add d l e for it it becomes bundle b u n d l e bundle means a pile together bundle of clothes bundle of sticks together you can see in your worksheet in the center this picture is here you can see the picture it is bundle of sticks they are tied together that is bundle repeat with me b u n d l e bundle correct b u n d l e bundle then you have the word sticks s t i c k s sticks you all know what is the meaning of sticks s t i c k s sticks right then let's go to the next one eldest eldest means the biggest child in the house the biggest child in the house is eldest it it's not only child when you grow up also the first born the first born in the house is the eldest e l d e s t eldest e l d e s t eldest right let's move on to break you all know what to break right sometimes you break the things of your sisters brothers papa mummy we break the things right and when you are holding a glass suddenly it falls down and breaks it happens so that's the break so b r e a k break b r e a k break come on children now when it comes to break we have a car break we have a scooter break this is not that break we are speaking about b r e a k that is like it's broken it fell down and broke a stick broke bench broke that break we are speaking about and then we have uh, in the next para we have uh, what do we have easily e a s 
I L Y easily. E A S I L Y easily. Easily means like um, it's not hard to do. Um, for example, if I ask you to draw a picture of a cat, just like that you will draw it. It's not difficult to draw, isn't it? It's easy to draw. But if I tell you draw the picture of an elephant or a lion or a giraffe, it's hard, isn't it? You won't find, find it easy. But whereas a cat, you can easily draw it. That means it's not so difficult to do it. That's called easily. Then we have understand. Then we have understand. The spelling of it, U-N-D-E-R-S-T-A-N-D. -E understand. U-N-D-E-R-S-T-A-N-D. -E understand. When your mommy, papa, teachers, anybody, they tell you something, they will ask, did you understand? Like, uh, they say, did you understand this? Did you know the meaning of what I said? That is, understand. Please repeat with me. U-N-D-E-R-S-T-A-N-D. -E stand. You have under in it and stand in it. They are two words. They are mixed together to become understand. U-N-D-E-R-S-T-A-N-D. -E stand. Um... Next, we have United. U-N-I-T-E-D. United. U-N-I-T-E-D. United. United means staying together. Staying means not sticking like this. Touching each other. Loving each other and being together is united. Then we have strong. You all know the meaning of strong, right? We become strong. You become strong to lift up the bench. You become strong to carry your own bag. You become strong to help your mom and dad at home. S-T-R-O-N-G, strong. S-T-R-O-N-G, strong. Right. Now children, as you read, please put your pointing fingers, okay? Next, we have weak. What is the opposite of strong? You are very strong, strong, right? But weak, no energy to do anything. You are weak. You are feeling tired. That's weak. W-E-A-K, weak. W-E-A-K, weak. The next, last word we have is divided. D-I-V-I-D-E-D, -E divided. D-I-V-I-D-E-D, -E divided means you and your brother, for example, you and your cousin are there. You are playing suddenly, you are playing happily together. Suddenly you fight with each other. One of you will go this side. One of you will go that side. That means you are divided. You split apart. That is called division. You are not supposed to do that. Okay children. Now let's go for the next one. We have in page number 141 you have some meanings as well as opposites. Let's see the meanings. Read with me please. Number one, untie. Untie. What's the meaning of it? Let loose. Make it loose. You tie maybe with a rubber band. You take your, um, after this class you can do one thing. Take four or five pencils together. Put them together. Ask mama for a rubber band. And put a rubber band around these pencils or pens. Okay? That means... You are tying it together. Untie. The meaning means you remove your rubber band and the pencils or pens are free again. They are separate, separate. That is called untie, let loose. Okay, children. Servants, as I told you, they are domestic helpers. They help us in all our works. Any work, let it be cooking, cleaning, washing, any work. Now we have Learn the opposites. You know opposites. Tall, short. Fat, thin. Isn't it? Those are the opposites which we learnt in the previous lessons too. Here we have old, young. The man was old. The kids were, the children were young. Right? Old, young. Old, young. Strong, weak. 
strong weak when they were together they were strong but when they divided they became weak now children next we have one answer in the same page the answer says who called the sons who called the sons these things and all we are going to learn with the spelling okay we'll be having a test in between so learn with the spellings and the answer is an old man on his death bed called his sons who called the sons repeat with me who called the sons repeat who called the sons an old man on his death bed called his sons please repeat children an old man on his death bed called his sons now children these are the things which you have learned you have learned the story when you are united you are strong and when you are divided you become weak you also learned the meanings you learned the opposites and one question and answer and um, i want you all to read the story three times okay children it helps you to learn to read your writing very fast and children next we have three more question answers and frame sentences that we will be having in the next class until then bye bye have a great time thank you